Here's a middle-aged horse that Melissa's working on, and she ends up speaking a lot in this video, so I'm going to let her do most of the talking here. Definitely ready to be done. Really sharp at the base of the tongue, the last tooth back. Hi, little pony. And this horse is done. Same thing on this side. A little while ago. Well over six months. Yeah, you can talk. <laughs> it's almost a year ago. Notice the demeanor of the horse, relaxed and calm around Melissa. She's letting him sm sniff the edge of this so he knows what she's about to do. And she can just easily insert the float blade right mm -hmm. in the horse. Go back to six months. Yep. This is too long for him. The owner was just saying Especially that, if he goes better for you after this. That she's doing once a year on this horse. And it just guy. is too much for this horse. The teeth are way overdue. This is an S5. Right. I'm just telling you about correction versus prevention. The handover looks a little uncomfortable oh, for this horse. my hand right across there. It helps me get your back teeth perfect. It really does. Come back this way. There you go. Melissa is treating this horse like melancholy, giving instructions, guidance through voice. It's a very smart horse, unsure of the plan. So Melissa just states it for him. It's always a little slow. There you go, perfect. It was six months prior to that. Yes. <laughs> You're biting on my hand. A lot of horses resist by just biting. Here I'm talking to the owner about the insidious onset of floating teeth from going from preventive to fixing. And one day, wham, it's there. And it's, then you have to Perfect. wait to find the dentist. So Melissa just took her time there, going slowly, waiting for the horse to open the mouth so she can move the float blade on those back lower arcades. Now she's giving the horse a chance to rest. See the wide stance up front, lowered head. Has he always dunked his head? There you go. Always. See that? He just brought his nose to her hand. And that's just a sign of gratefulness right there. It's a really cool thing. We just love that part. Can I ask you to back up just a hair? See how she asked him with, using English? You know where your butt is. I know you know where your butt is. And then we're going to ask your front to go this way just a hair. So that way Mr. Jeff can see. Perfect. Positioning, huh? And she started working the upper outsides. The horse isn't right, resisting okay. much. Over the tongue. You so she could just, other side. Okay. just get in there and get her done. Figured that out quicker, didn't you? The horse doesn't even object to her <laughs> doing the hand over here because the horse gets it. It's a quick learner. You know, if I could put it over my eyes and then look through it, it'd be perfect. Yeah. Talking about the view of the camera. Kind of like the glasses, but the glasses sucked. Right back there, right at the base of your tongue. Good job. She's rotating the blade so it's perpendicular and getting down between the uh, 311 and the tongue right there. And the horse is showing a lot of gratefulness. You'll knock me over. Mm -hmm. Use your will. 
we do go for outsides? Yes, we can. <gasps> you not ready? Lots of words of encouragement. Put the horse sniff the end of the blade before she places the blade inside the mouth. All these signs of reassurance, reassuredness for this horse are necessary. And the horse is loving every minute of it. Now she's going to the upper outside. 